Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. You guys, we are doing such a fabulous job. Everyone is doing such a great job in the August Protein Sparing Modified Fast Weight Loss Challenge. Yes, indeed. Um, today is Wednesday. It's a Protein Sparing Modified Fast Day. Take a walk. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take walks other than underneath our um, owl cove in the courtyard because it's raining, it's cloudy, I didn't know it, I put on my BIP uh, flu vlogs, Come not on, thinking sure. about the rain. See, it goes with my dress. Yeah. I didn't know about the rain, but you know, in Arizona, it can rain. You can monsoon, it can flood, and 20 minutes to 30 minutes later, you wouldn't even know that it rained. But I think this rain's pretty socked in. Yeah. It's misty, you know, so my hair is going to get wigged out today. Anyway, you guys, I am so excited. Can you guys guess why I'm excited? <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. This is exciting. Harry has some exciting news, you guys, but before that, and even before I share what we had to eat yesterday, I want to share my buns that I made in the new pan, Deanna. Look at this. Look at my buns. Yeah, you gotta, we, we found the secret last on night. On how you have to let them cool completely. We just put them in the fridge for about 15 minutes to make sure they were cool. And then you peel it down like the skin of a banana. Well, it had to stay in overnight. Well, yeah, but I mean, until they got cold, 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 cold. Yeah, when they get cold, then you can kind of pull them out of there. But you got to be really slow. It's so like peeling a label off a bottle, man. Yep, it's like yep, really yep. But slow. I'm super proud of these buns, you guys. Um, I have a little bit of a new recipe that I'm going to share tonight with everybody because I made my bread. Now, I cooked it a little bit longer than I should have, but this bread is yummy oh yeah for those who want more flavor in their bread but they don't have or wish to buy any keto chow to do so i've got the protein spray modified fast wonder bread wendy's way seasoned bread and i want you guys to come back because i'm gonna have to make some when i get home from work today because you guys it's delicious. Yeah, you gotta check this it out. It is delicious. Yeah. I noticed on our um, Facebook group, and you guys, it's free to you to join, so please come on board. It's it's um, Loving It on Keto with Wendy Fans Facebook group, and Harry will put the link below. But you guys, this is the recipe if you don't have Keto job. Everybody is saying, what do I do with the plain, you know, protein spray modified fast recipe? It tastes plain. I don't have any taste. It tastes like star cardboard. Oh, I can't get the drops. So you don't need sourdough drops for this recipe and you don't need keto chow. And I think it turned out delicious. Oh yeah. So with that, you guys, like, I want to like remind. regular white bread to me. It is with a little seasoning. Yeah. I got a secret seasoning, you guys, just for you. Anyway. Everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, everything that you ingest, such as pills, over-the-counter medicine, Tylenol, Aleve, allergy medicine, any uh, course of antibiotics, all those things can have a direct effect on your weight. Yesterday was a protein sparing modified fast day. We had protein sparing modified fast. We had an open face ground turkey with gravy sandwich on protein sparing modified fast bread. And man, is that good, huh, Harry? Oh, yeah. And filling. It's very filling. Later, we had some four ounce uh, ground beef that I mixed in with the ground turkey. We had collagen, three tablespoons key two creamer. We each had 2% carbs equaling four grams, 34% fat equaling 28 grams, and the 64% protein was 121 grams for a total of 795 calories. You guys, we both went down. Yep. Yes, indeed, we're going down, we're going down, down. Yes, indeed. 
Guys, I lost a pound. I went down to 175.8. Harry hit an all-time new low. Yep. Woo! Give it up to Harry. 169. Even. Woo! Yep. Yep. On the dot. Man. This is so exciting. And you guys, we're going to come to Harry. We're going to give it up to Harry because he's going to share some stuff before he gets into the big board. But we're going to go to the big board now. Mm -hmm. Let me see your shirt. My new shirt? Yeah. He who kneels before the Lord can stand before anyone. Amen. Yes, indeed. I bought one for Dave, too. Yes, you did. Love it. Okay. Harry, what are you excited about this month? Well, I want, look at this, you guys. This is only we're only a week and a, a week and a half into this thing. I've already had one, two, three, four new lows. Four new lows. Four. four. New lows. And I'm only in this thing a week and a half. And how much total weight loss have you had? Well, if we go up here and look and see how we started last month, right? One seventy nine is where I started out. Ten pounds. 169. So I've 10 pounds. 10 pounds in a matter of just a little over 30 days, 34 days, something like that. I'd have to Isn't it that out. Exactly. exciting? But that's really uh, kind of amazing, you know? 10 pounds. After th The reason why I say it's exciting is because it's usually harder to lose the weight the closer you get to your goal. And you're four pounds away. Yeah, and so now it's like, no, it's kind of easy to do. You yeah, you gotta to... really work at it right, and you really gotta find out what's good for your body. Yes, you do. You really do. Wendy pretty much got us locked down. It's what, 631. Okay, yeah, oh, baby. okay I got it. Sorry, go. sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 631. You guys, I am so excited for Harry. Can you believe that? All the stalling and stopping and back and forth and everything that we've done, and all of a sudden, boom, 10 pounds gone in a month. That know, is exciting. Really and the thing is, is the protein sparing modified fast makes you lose the weight through the middle. Because if you guys yeah, have noticed, Harry had, a little, Harry had a little bit more of a pooch. I'm actually losing the weight yeah. from my stomach yes. doing this. That's the dangerous part of the body where the fat accumulates. If it accumulates in the stomach and the gut, abdominal area, that's the dangerous part, you yeah, guys. Yeah. You can gain it on your hips. You can gain it on your butt. You can gain it on your arms. And it's healthier. But if you gain it on your gut, it's not. No serene. Jim West, guess what? I'm going to have ice cream tonight. I'm so yeah, excited. Yeah, man, we're going to make After it. After I read the caution, I couldn't make ice cream last night, but we are making ice cream. We are making ice cream tonight in my new Cuisinart beautiful machine. Brought to us beautiful. by Jim. Oh, man, I'm excited. I got my keto chow in here. Look, I got it all ready to go. Right here, right here. Got it all ready. I'm excited. Oh, Harry, I got to take out the hamburger. We need more hamburger. I want to make hamburgers tonight on our new buns. Yeah, that's a good I idea. I want to make hamburgers. You showed the buns, right? Yes, I showed the buns. Those buns are really something, man. Now, if we could just make it, well, I'll have to try a whole brand new batch just to see what'll happen. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, I need to go order now, so I'll see you guys in the next segment. Goodbye. You guys, this is my lunch for today. I've got my electrolytes. I've got my new everything but the bagel tomato basil bun yes indeed i've got some bread too because i love this new bread recipe and i'll be giving that to everybody later today it is delicious though Ooh, i kind of cut it thick but i'm excited i've got my vitamins yes indeed i have i took a chicken breast six ounce chicken breast i chopped it up and i put my uh, honey mustard uh, dressing on it. That's the recipe I got from Melanie Hines, and it's the mayonnaise mustard um, apple cider vinegar and a couple drops of stevia, and it's absolutely delicious. Tastes just like honey mustard, but there's no sugar in it. I have cherry cola and a ginger root beer zevia. 
So you guys, it is dreary and it's 77 outside. So I need to put all this away and then I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee. It's coffee time. So funny. We get 114 degrees one week and then it's 77 and raining the next. Crazy weather, that's for sure. But I'm getting a great cup of coffee and I'm excited. So anyway, you guys, we'll see you upstairs when it is coffee time. Yes, indeed. Well, it's raining, so my hair's frizzing. Oh, got my cup of coffee and I'm gonna drink it now. You guys, wasn't that the sweetest? Jim, I can't thank you enough for my Quasinart ice cream machine. I am so excited about doing ice cream tonight. I can't even tell you from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Honestly, that is fabulous. I love all the gifts that anybody sends to us. We are blessed and truly thankful for all the things that you guys do for us. So thank you so much again. You guys, I have to take all my vitamins and I would suggest starting to take your zinc, your vitamin C's, your vitamin D3, K2, because of the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus that's out there. Those are great things. I also take uh, oil of oregano, which is right here, right there, little guy. Um, so I take a plethora of vitamins. Maybe I'll share with everybody what my vitamins are that I take every day. If you guys like to see that, let me know in the comments below. Yes, we'd like to see the plethora of vitamins that you and Harry are taking. I am having a piece of my delicious bread. Oh my gosh, look at all the delicious things in there. I'm gonna share everything with you guys today because if you just wanna make that plain, boring protein sparing modified fast bread taste better and you don't have drops and you don't have keto chow then you better stick around because this bread's for you yes indeed hey you guys i am walking it has been raining here it's, it's only in the 70s it's maybe yeah i'd say 70s and um humid it is very humid, so my hair is going to start acting up. But it quit raining, so I thought I'd come out while the sun is still shining a little bit anyway, right? Oops, people are wandering all over the place today, so I have to be careful. Looks like I smeared my camera, so let me fix that. There you go. Harry, I did that test for you because I know how much you hate it when there's a fingerprint. <laughs> oh, anyway, you guys. Get up and move your body today. Get out and take a walk. I'm gonna be doing it under the awning and in the hallway today, you guys. So, I'll catch you guys in the next segment. Yay, the rain has stopped and I can walk, but it is humid. Man, is it humid. It is. So, anyway, you guys, don't forget, get out and walk. Got my little bips on today. I didn't think it would be, when it rains and it's windy, this whole corner gets wet too. So we've got these rugs out so people don't slip on the Spanish tiles. Anyway, oops, that was pretty. A little flower went floating by from the Bougainvillea. Anyway, you guys, don't forget. I get up and move your body. In the next segment, I'll share with you guys what I have for lunch. Yes, indeed.
Okay, you guys, I have my chopped chicken. It has got my honey mustard dressing that's made with mayonnaise, mustard, uh, apple cider vinegar, and a little couple drops of stevia. I've got my Redmond's Real Salt that I carry with me in my purse, and I've got my beautiful tomato basil with everything but the bagel seasoning, you guys. These turned out so beautiful. I made them late last night, so you guys didn't get to see them, but I'll tell you. They are delicious. I made them in my new little um, bun, little black bun mesh silicon maker that Dina sent to me. And you guys, it worked out. But the trick is you have to wait until they are totally cold before you try to pull them out. Anyway, I'm taking my chicken and I'm making a sandwich. Yes, indeed I am. And I am so excited for this. I used Redmond's uh, Real Salt seasoning that they have on this and it's tasty tasty anyway you guys I'm gonna make my sandwich and I gotta eat now Man, doesn't that look delicious? I'm excited. Ooh, yeah. Hey, everybody, it's lunch time again. Great. Today I'm having that's PMS bread over there. I was going to talk about the ground beef. Okay, that's not what I had planned. That it's total bullsh! What, what are you doing eating the props? What do you mean? The, the bowl of beef you're eating right there. I'm hungry. <sighs> you're eating the bowl of food I was gonna use in Today's lunch segment. What's with the hat anyways? Well, I'm directing, so I thought I'd wear a hat. Yeah, but your main job is doing the camera. Oh, I got one. I got a hat for that too. See? I wear this hat here. That way people won't confuse me when they come into the room on what what I'm doing. Others? Who? What? What others? Well, yeah, but you never know who's going to come into the room. Can we just get started, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Action! Oh, wait, oh, wait. Action! Let's just continue on, okay? I really didn't feel like chicken today. Okay, now, here's the chicken. I'm going to eat six ounces of the chicken. Of course, Wendy's probably going to say you should eat eight, but I'm going to have six. Got 
Gonna need a plate. Oh, gotta weigh it too, cause I'm eating chicken. All right, let's see what this is. It's five and a half. I got the eight. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and eat the eight. So as you, I like them cut up in small pieces. It's a lot of chicken. Rather be eating ground beef, but you know somebody had to eat that for me. So what do you think I'm gonna put on this? I'm gonna put on some of this right here. When do you made? This is gravy and man, is it good. Oh yeah. It kind of changes my whole mind about the uh, chicken actually because I love this on chicken. I love chicken too, but I had, you know, I had, my, my mouth was ready for the ground beef. Or with, I think it was ground turkey and ground beef. Yeah, anyways. I've already done that. Ah, yeah. Okay. Now, as we all know, I'm going to put something else on here. And I know you all know what it is. Mustard. Yep. That's what I'm putting on here. The mustard. Okay. All right, now what I'm gonna do is put it in the microwave, heat it up. Oh, give it a minute. We'll be right back. There it is. Oh yeah. Oh, smells good, man. Now I'm in the mood for the chicken. I'm, I'm ready now. I'm ready for the chicken. And guess what I'm going to have with it? Can you guess? Well, if you said creamy uh, Zevia root beer, you've been right. Well, anyways, I'm going to go eat. Because all this screwing around has made me hungry. Jam! I'm excited for making ice cream. Woo! My craisin art. I cleaned it. I've got the uh, keto chow that, from the fridge into the top of the paddle. Um, I've got chocolate caramel macchiato is what I'm making. And I'm reading how to do this. Okay. Press the power button to turn the unit on the red LED light will be on and the LC will press the timer from 60 so push the button to turn the unit on double zero press the timer button I don't know how long to cook it for our keto chow takes about 30 minutes. Should we do 30 minutes? Yeah, see what happens. Because you're going to do 30 to 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Timer is set from 60 to 10 minutes. The timer will default to 60. Press and release timer button to decrease timer in one minute increments. Press and hold to scroll down quickly. Okay. And we can start. Okay. You can turn it off at any time. Okay, and the timer. Okay. So, timer. Ooh, looky, we're gonna have chocolate caramel macchiato ice cream. Yes, indeed. I am so excited. Welcome back when it's ice cream, you guys. It's dinner time. Want to have something quick, simple, and easy using leftovers in my refrigerator while my ice cream is making ice cream. 
Yes, indeed. So, I've got 12 ounces of my turkey. My 93% turkey and 97% uh, ground beef mix in here. I'm going to turn it on. And I've got my Rao's homemade mozzarella marinara. Marinara, I guess that's what it is. And I need to add, I need to eat this before it goes bad. So I am going to see how many quarter cup. Oops. A little bit more. One. Ah, Wendy. Probably one more. It's a little more than three quarters of a cup. What we are going to do is we're going to have mm. marinara, Italian style beef, in a bowl. And I've got some leftover cheese, and I've got some um, Faye non fat yogurt that I'm going to put on top. So let me get this stirring. Sorry about the noise. That's my new ice cream maker. Yes, indeed. I'm going to put a little bit of keto chow um, beef gravy in that. Here's my keto chow beef gravy that I made last night. It should taste delicious in here. Give it a little bit of richness, and then we're going to put this over some delicious buns that I made. Oh, it's delicious. You guys can use your gravy made with bouillon cubes, bouillon broth, broth, bone broth, or keto chat. Super easy, super simple. We keep it in the fridge. I want to put some salt and pepper because our meat is totally plain. This is Redmond Real Salt. I like coarse ground so that I can grind it in fresh. I love Redmond Real Salt. Don't be afraid to salt your food, you guys, but well, make sure pepper, you're getting... Though. This is pepper. The other one was salt. Let me get let me get plates. So come over here, Harry. I don't know how you're gonna show this. Did you show them our buns that I made? Should we use bread or buns? Let's have bread. These buns were so good with my chicken sandwich. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is my Italian seasoned bread that I made late last night. Just put a couple couple of pieces on the plate. How many pieces do you want? Three? Yeah. Super easy, super simple. Okay, let me stir this up. letting that marry and I don't have the sour cream but I have fine a zero percent yogurt I want to pour the whey which is the liquid out of here I just want the thickness like sour cream on top to give us that cooling sensation okay you guys that looks pretty good huh yeah. can you come over wow that's nice Oh, 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 yeah. Man, you should good, smell it. it. Yeah. Woo! Let me get out of the way. Okay, I've got a little bit of the Mexican style organic cheese. Just a little bit. Probably about an ounce on each. Man. 
gonna put a dollop of sour cream. Just a, I call it sour cream, but it's um, Faye yogurt. Works the same. It does. It works exactly the same. When you keep pouring off the whey, it makes the sour cream sweeter, less sour. So, this looks pretty good, but wait, there's more. Some La Victoria hot sauce yeah. wine. Water, tomato paste, jalapeno peppers, onions, salt, distilled vinegar, spices, gall, gar, la, 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 la. garlic. Sodium benzonite is preservative citri citric acid. Zero carbs, zero calories, zero sugars. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that, little bit of this on. God, my mouth isn't working. I've been talking too much. You? Yeah. Sea seasoning, dulse. You guys, this has a great source of iodine. It's 220 percent of your total daily iodine dose if you use. A teaspoon. We're just sprinkling it. This has a mild nutty flavor. It doesn't have a seaweed taste at all. Does it, Harry? Nope. And it's a really good source of iodine. I don't even notice it's there. At least I don't. A little bit more Redmond salt. I've got this grinder on super fine. I don't know if you can see the fineness of the powder on my grinder, but I like it super duper fine. There it is, there you have it. Dinner, leftovers Wendy style, you guys. I am so excited, but I want Harry to take a taste test. So, get some sour cream on your fork, a little bit of bread, make sure you get some cheese. Okay. Mm. It's really Italian-y. Yeah? And then that hot sauce just gives it a little kick. That's a lot of food. Yes, it is. You think I can eat all that? I don't know. We'll see. You should be. Mm. We're done now? No, come over here because, okay, tell everybody what we have to do now. Mm. Gotta eat now. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna stop it. What are you doing? Turning it off because it's done. Now, this is beautiful ice cream, you guys. Oh my gosh. And the thing is, is I only used two tablespoons, not even two tablespoons of avocado oil because I'm using less fat and look what a beautiful job it did. Turn it. I'm trying to think of how. I don't wanna hurt it. Ooh, I'm so excited, you guys. We have ice cream. We have ice cream in the house. There it is, the first batch out of the machine. One of many, millions. Many, 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 many more. Have a taste. Mm. Is, it, is it good? It's chocolate caramel macchiato. I added a little bit of chocolate to it. It is delicious, creamy, considering I hardly had any fat in here. This really whipped it up nicely. Anyway, you guys, you know what that means. It's ice cream time. Now, I have enough buns and bread that I don't want to make more bread. I promised you guys a recipe that I have that I made, which is this right here that is uh, Italian seasoned bread, but I've got some secret ingredients. I'll make it tomorrow for everybody, I promise, I will. But right now, got a dish of ice cream, mom's here, gotta make some coffee, and Jim, we're enjoying our ice cream. Thank you so much again, we truly appreciate oh, it. Yeah. You guys, tomorrow, don't forget, let me get my little, little thing here, tomorrow, it's an 18 hour fast. 
our sixth hour eating window. Eat two meals, lift some weights. Yes, indeed. So you guys, I am gonna dish up this delicious ice cream. It's really ice milk, not even ice milk because we hardly put any fat in it whatsoever and we're splitting it out between the three of us. But I'm extremely excited, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the little bell. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Ooh, I'm so excited. You know what I really like about this? What? It just flips right out. Okay, I got my ice cream. <laughs> Gotta go now, everybody. Bye. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I'll share. Better hurry and turn that thing off. It's ice cream time.